Hello pumpkins, welcome back to my channel. It's Gothic Vegan 05 here, back for another video. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. If you're a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back and thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is going to be a vintage haul. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Vinted is a amazing um, app that allows you to sell and buy secondhand clothes easily. Um, this video isn't sponsored. I haven't been asked to do this. I personally use Vinted um, to sell and buy pre-loved clothes. Um, I'm a massive, massive ambassador. Well, I'm not an ambassador. I'm not an official ambassador, but I do believe in pre-loved clothes. Oh, sorry. This is just Boo. Oops, that's, that was Boo's tail. Um, yeah, I love buying secondhand clothes. Now, purely because of lockdown obviously we haven't been able to go out and shop but i find vintage have a wide range of pre-loved clothes um very um there's like primark on there but then there's like the hyatt so you've got primark um boohoo um na nasty gal um pretty little thing but then you have the higher end market um, I don't tend to really shop the high end. So let's just be real here. I'm not a high end gal. I'm not like Christian Dior, Gucci, Armani. I'm none of that shite really. Um, I am a Primark gal through and through. Boohoo, pretty little thing. I love all that. <laughs> Vinted for me. I do sell a lot on Vinted. Um, I sell a lot of Killstar. I sell a lot of Primark. I sell a lot of Boohoo. I buy a lot of clothes that I do see on influencers. Think it's going to look great on me and it looks absolutely <coughs> sell it on. Um, obviously, I do make a loss, but at least I'm not sending it to landfill. So I feel that Vinted is a massive, massive, what's the word I'm looking for here? It saves waste is what I'm trying to say. And I have to buy a lot of clothing for work. We don't have a uniform for work. And my boss, the owner of the business, because we are funeral directors, I couldn't just get away with wearing like black and white I have tried and I get told off all the time for looking morbid so I do have to buy white red or you know beige um for work so that I'm not a stereotypical funeral director so Vinted is a brilliant place I mean my boss is amazing he actually gives me a hundred pound clothing allowance every single year which I'm very grateful for which I don't always use actually um, because I do tend to buy and sell a lot of clothes. Um, but my boss does give me £100 every single year to go out and buy clothes for work. Um, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily buy on the daily because of my style. But I do have to um, abide by certain rules at work. So I'm not always allowed to wear black. When he's on holiday. And he does actually have quite a few holidays. So, but my manager, Lily, um, who I absolutely adore, and I know you watch these videos. Love you long time, madam. <laughs> um, <laughs> he actually um, embraces my style. So I am very lucky with my manager. But anyway, I'm going to show you some clothes I got from Vinted. I'm not going to do a try on haul because there's actually no point because you can't just go out and buy these things. So I'm just going to show you some things that I picked up. So it's going to be shoes, dresses and just bits and pieces. But I just want to show you that Vinted is actually quite versatile. And um, yeah, let's just look into the shoes. <laughs> so I'm going to start with shoes. Now, with Vinted, obviously, you choose... You, you can favourite things that you like and sometimes the sellers will um, message you and so, for example, if a pair of like shoes that you like are like five quid, let's just say for argument's sake, they're five pound, sometimes a buyer will message you and say, okay, do you want these for four pounds? And you can choose to accept or decline the offer 
um, or you know you can suggest a different price um, and then it's up to that buyer whether or not they want to accept that price um, usually like from personally if I put something on I've put it on because I know what I've paid for it I know what it's worth I've never worn it because there is a lot of clothes on there that has never been worn so some people do chance their arm and offer a couple of quid less which I do as well um there's certain ways to send the items you can do Royal Mail Hermes Hermes does seem to be a popular choice because then the buyer isn't paying for the shipping if you know what I mean but anyway I bought these shoes now I when I search for shoes I always search for vegan faux leather or anything like that so I always know when I'm buying anything I do look in to the products that are used to manufacture these products or I actually ask the seller to read the label and tell me if it is an animal derived product so I never ever buy anything that is leather wool or anything like that so the first thing I bought were these shoes from Killstar and these are Moon Child Pumps from Killstar. They've got little moons on the insert in the inside here. One shoe says moon, one shoe says child. These were absolutely perfect when I bought them. I think I got these for £8.50. Um, you can obviously contact sellers and ask them no, I want to pay £8.50 for this and they accept or decline. Um, I did, this was a lovely lady actually and you do like learn stuff because the woman that was selling these, she was selling them for a tenner and I offered her £8.50 and she accepted and then after she told me that she was using the money to buy, to build her gran a summer house and then I felt so guilty because I would have paid the tenner if I knew that she was doing it for her nan it's awful but yeah I got these for £8.50 plus shipping um yes yeah, so I got those and I absolutely love them there was nothing wrong with these at all um yeah I got those and you would have paid like 20-30 pound on Killstar for these and I got these for £8.50 then these next thing i got these boots these boots cost me four pound fifty where were they from i can't remember i can't remember where they were from but yeah four pound fifty i paid for these absolutely stunning boots vegan leather four pound fifty i love them Next were these um, summer sandals. These are from Office. Um, these were on for £15 and I offered the buyer £8.50 and she accepted. Excuse, right, these little toe bits wasn't on there when I bought them and that is from me. Um, but look how perfect these are. They're not like worn, worn. These were lovely when I bought them and they still are they're so comfy um it didn't look like they had been worn at all obviously that little toe is mine because I've worn these to death since I've bought them but yeah you wouldn't get those for £8.50 from office and I just really love those made sure they were made from vegan friendly materials which they are um yeah absolutely love those they are my summer staple um, and then I got, oops, then um, I saw this lady was new to Vinted. And these are like the F&F &F range from Tesco's. Um, she had these on there for £12.50. I offered her £8.50 and she accepted. Um, absolutely brand spanking new shoes um, from F&F. &F. Love these. Some people, I mean, I say no to, I mean, I had um, some Killstar sunglasses. I paid £15 for them. I put three sets on, which would have been £45. Someone offered me £18 for all three. No, I'm not going to sell £45 worth of sunglasses for 18 quid. Sorry, no, you're taking the piss, mate. 
So you do have to say no to some people. I, I just thought that was taking the piss. Um, I never wore the sunglasses. They were 15 quid. I sold them for a tenner. I think that's fair. So one of them I let go for 8.50. The girl was really lovely. So they can private message you. Um, if someone's polite and asks me, then I will drop the price. And I always do send next day delivery for no extra cost because I just like to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, these were £8.50. Brand spanking new. Um, obviously, these are non-animal um, derived material. Brand spanking new, £8.50. Love those. Fred and French, going to wear them to work. Lovely. These were a pound. <laughs> so some nice little office shoes. Um, it says Comfort Plus, wider. And I don't know where they're from, but these were on Vinted for one pound. One pound. I got them. And I wear them to work every single day. And they are so comfy. Brand spanking new. A quid. One pound. <laughs> so I bought this dress. This is from Primark. This cost me three pounds. Three squidoos. It's got beautiful sleeves here. I love this dress. Very springy dress. It's got buttons down here. I just, it's a long, long dress, like a chiffon y kind of dress. But that cost me three squids, which I'm very, very happy about. This dress was from Boohoo. Very lovely, again, long dress with a tie wraparound belt tie. This cost me £6.50. Very, very happy with that lovely for work very sophisticated love that next dress i got was from yours um this is a long black dress with lace detail across here this cost me five pounds really really like this i do actually wear a belt around here i got this in a size, uh, what size did I get you? In a 16, it's a little bit too big, um, but I just put a little belt around it and it looks absolutely fabulous. Um, love this, wear this with a white cardigan, um, then it gets away with me wearing black because <laughs> I've mixed in a bit of white, but it's a very, very beautiful sweetheart neck dress. Um, not something I would usually buy actually. Um, so yeah, I never ever shop from yours. Um, because it's like a larger size. Um, what size is this? I don't know. Just have a look. But I loved it. I think it's a 16 or 18. It's a slightly too big for me, but I did get a, I did put a belt on it. It's an 18. 18 and it's a little bit too big. So yeah, I just stuck a belt around it and it's um perfect. So that was that. And sticking with the black chiffon-y kind of theme, I've got this beautiful dress with love heart chiffon-y see-through-y bits that I also wear with a cardigan. This was £6.50. This is a very, very long dress um, that I wear to work with a blazer. £6.50. Bloody love it. I love the love heart detail. Beautiful again wear it with a white um white cardigan you get away with it black and white monochrome lovely <laughs> then i got this i absolutely love this dress this was let me just where are you from i can't remember where you're from i can't find the tag hang on where were you from can't find you this dress was 10 pounds i didn't care paying 10 pounds i don't know but it was 16 size 16 it come with one of the little dresses underneath um to stop it being so see-through but it's this beautiful high neck dress 
um, with button detail on the back, but it's just stunning. It had these lovely sleeves, very, very long, long dress, but it's just so beautiful. And I did pay £10 for this because I thought it was worth it. And it's not just black. It's got little white and pink delicate flowers on. Um, still very much my style. Got this, wear this to work. Got loads of compliments, love it. Absolutely love this. This next dress is from Boohoo. Still got the tags on, I haven't worn this yet. Um, purely because I do love it. Absolutely love it, but it's just too short. Um, I think sometimes when you're a larger girl, um, when you wear something too short, it just makes you look bigger than what you are. Um, so I'm thinking of maybe wearing this with leggings. Um, but yeah, it's still, look, it's still got the tags on. I only paid £6.50 for this dress. And it, it doesn't actually say how much it was, but it's still got all the Boohoo tags on. Still got this on. There's the dress. It's absolutely stunning. Lovely, lovely sleeves. It is see-through. Um, but it's just beautiful and I will wear this but just not just yet because it is just a bit too short but I do love red I, I love red so I got that and then I got this also from Boohoo and this is like one of those waterfall um, jackets so it is again quite long I paid £7.50 for this one um, it's a medium to large. There was a tag on this. The person hadn't ever worn this. Um, it's a very like thin line, kind of springy jacket. I really, really love this. Haven't worn it yet, but it's one of these waterfall jackets. I thought this would be really nice to wear to work with just like a plain black top, black trousers, and then this just to break up the black. Cover the old bum because it is quite long. Um, yeah, love that. So you get some really good, good brands on Vinted. Um, this I got. Now, this I bought in a size 12. It's not going to fit me yet. I'm not stupid. But it's still got the pretty little thing tag on. Hasn't even been taken off. This is pretty little thing. Size 12, and this is a white ruffle binding detail shirt dress. Label still on. Now, this lady had this dress on for £16.50. I offered her £13 um, and she accepted. And then for a little while, I didn't um, message her because I thought, I'm oh, not a size 12. But then I thought again perhaps this would be the dress that I could try and get into so I offered her £9.50 and she accepted so it's this beautiful shoulder detail dress it's a shirt dress Victorian style I do like a Victorian style dress it's not massively long but it's brand spanking new with the whole with the whole shebang and I got it so cheap Beautiful detailed button here. I've got to get into this. I've got to get into this for the summer. I think I look quite nice in this because it's Victorian esque and, and that's what I like. I love the Victorian style. Look at these sleeves. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Not going to fit me now because it's a size 12. Possibly would fit me as a shirt, but not as a dress because my booty is too big for this. But this is something to like encourage me to get into a size 12 again. Love it. This next dress is also something that will not fit me yet, but I loved it. Anyone who knows me knows that I am obsessed with foxes. Look at this bloody dress. Now this is a hell bunny dress. This still got the tags on. This was originally £50, this dress. I paid, what did I pay for this? £16? Look at it. It's just bloody beautiful. It's just got foxes all over it. I love it. Go 
doesn't fit me yet. It's got this beautiful bow detail that goes around the front here. Collar. I just love it. I'm going to get into it. I will get into it one day. <laughs> I just love it. Short sleeves with little pockety bits here with button detail. But just, I just love it. And I think next autumn, I'm going to be rocking this dress. I love foxes. I, I need to get into this dress. So yeah, it's quite a short dress. But yeah, Hell Bunny. This dress retails 40, 50 quid. I got it for under 20 quid. Wonderful. And then Chanel. Now, I don't think this is genuine. This dress cost me 40. It was on there for 40 pounds. I offered 35 and the seller come back with 38. I loved it. It's like a sailory kind of dress. It's a jumper dress. And I know, I know it won't be genuine Chanel. <laughs> I know. But it's just so simple. It's black and white. I paid £38 for it. I love it. It's so nice. Vinted is amazing for... Just look at it. You could get away with that being real, surely. I don't think it is real. I don't know. I don't think so. Not for 40 quid. But yeah, that's that little dress. Jumper dress, Chanel. We're saying it's Chanel. And then lastly, I paid £2.50 for this velvet-esque red skirt. Um, I love this. This is a size, I don't know. It's Amaretto. Love it absolutely love it £2.50 you can't go wrong that with a nice black high neck jumper is uh, very Dracula-esque <laughs> love it I bloody love Vinted I will leave all the details below to have a look at the Vinted accounts um Gothic Vegan 05 is my hanger handle um yeah as I say I'm not paid to do this I just bloody love Vinted. It is addictive. You can go on there and put the size that you want, the brands that you want, and then in your wardrobe, it will just come up everything that you've kind of pre-selected. Um, shoe size, bra size, skirt size, shirt size, dress size. It will just all come up. You can obviously search for other things. But if you put your details in, when you look at your kind of wardrobe, all the things that you've selected will come up which makes it easier to shop but yeah i bloody love it so i think that is going to go ahead and conclude my video for vinted i really do hope you enjoyed this kind of video if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button um to see more of these if you do want to see more of these please let me know and um, there is no point in doing a try on because you never know what you're going to get with vinted it's um you know a one-off kind of thing sometimes um i am very happy with everything that i've got i am actually addicted to vinted excuse me i would prefer to go to vinted than primark these days um you can get a lot more for your money um it stops stuff going to landfill and i am very much all for that so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching please take care of yourselves and each other and i will see you next week for another video love you so much thank you for watching Bye bye